Hey there people, get ready for the 30th episode of Mango Future Responses. I do episode 29, and then I will do Mango Future Response episode 30. For now, I am going to do a triple response from two different channels. And the videos are Phoenix Knight The Ultimate Despair's Commentary on My Future Response on Foxy The Fox 110's Rant on Me. The Panther Lover's Response on My Double Response on Azure Neon Red Darkness Prime Works Technology Dude to K6's Commentary on My Future Response. On Screwball's Commentary on My Future Response on Whistler Hayes's Salute on the Mohang Studios Logo Show and Screwball's Commentary on My Future Response on His Commentary on My Future Response on Whistler Hayes's Salute on the Mohang Studios Logo Show and the Panther Lover's response on my future response on Foxy the Fox 110's rant on me. And I will do my future responses intro until I made the 30th episode of Mango Future Responses. First, I am going to do a future response on Phoenix Knight the Ultimate Despair's commentary on my future response on Foxy the Fox 110's rant on me. Let's get started. I would have made that diss track commentary. But after reading the lyrics, I decided not to because they make it boring, but I do have another video to deal with, and yes, it's Mango, no more info is needed. Oh, my, mother, flipping, god, guys, it happened, it really happened today. That slam- SHUT THE F*** UP! Just made an invalid rant video- NO! YES! So, let's just get this response video started. And no users will be featured today. Yo, what? That it's me, and welcome to Foxy Smith's season one, episode eleven. And this rant is going to be on Mango HTF animations. <laughs> now, anyways. Before I get started, I just want to say, if you like this user and neutral to this user, then I- Okay. Hey. Stop right there you immature person. This is the woman in blue shirt speaking to you. Are you about to interrupt someone's interrupting clips while someone is actually right about you or someone else? Bruh, that proves that you can't handle the truth that someone is saying to you or someone else. And that proves that you are denying the truth. Let's skip this part and continue with this response. Now anyways, let's get started. Mango HTF animations. Oh my god, this user sucks. <coughs> and I'll give the reasons why. Reason number one is- Hey, stop right there you immature person. This is the woman in blue shirt speaking to you. Are you about to interrupt someone's interrupting clips while someone is actually right about you or someone else? Bruh, that proves that you can't handle the truth that someone is saying to you or someone else, and that proves that you are denying the truth. Let's skip this part and continue with this response. Reason number two. He's a big truth denier. Actually, you're the SHUT THE F*** UP! You do keep denying the truth. No, she is clearly the one who is denying the truth, not me, because whenever I am speaking the truth about my hate base, she denies every single truth that I stated out. You see that? This is why Foxy did denying every single truth that I tells. And the fact you are claiming she is a hypocrite for slandering you. Well, it is true that Foxy is a hypocrite because she claimed that I am slandering her when I did not, but yet she is slandering me as a pedophile no matter what. This is why that Foxy is delusional and an hypocritical channel in this world. Stop right there, you slanderer. This is Mikkel Monino speaking to you. Are you about to slandering Mango HTF animations as a pedophile, bruh? You need to know that he is not a pedophile anymore. And this proves you are acting like the Mojang Studios logo shows past actions. Let's skip this part and continue with this response. Because he keeps denying the truth about himself. Well, 
That's because they are Like for example, he denies the fact that he's still a pedophile. That's because that it is slam- No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! He's number three. He's a slender. And here is an hypocritical moment for you, Foxy. Nope. Yes! She is right, you know I check with Felino Wizard, and he confirmed that she never saved CP. Well, if you don't believe me, here are the two proofs that Foxy did. If you knew that Foxy saved CP, this is 100% true. And I'm not going to say it again because we should have accepted it by now. Like wow dude, just wow. You should know that slandering is a serious crime. And here is another- SHUT THE F*** UP! He's number four. He's a hypocrite. Actually, you're the one who is a hypocrite. Uh, no! 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 Nope! No! Yes! Because he claims I am quote unquote slandering him when I'm not slandering him. Yes, he did. Nope. Yes! Yet he slanders me. Act you can't handle the truth! Wow, what a hypocrite. Reason number five. He can't handle the truth about himself. Well, that's because they are slandering and f I s We never meet, or the pimple lover, or Mango, or any of his haters. I mean, not Mango. I mean, we meet. I meant to say Mango. I meant to say Screwball. Sorry about that. Messed up. Okay. And the name's there. So, anyways, we start on that. We never meet, and the pimple lover and Screwball speak the truth about him. He denies it. Well. That's because they are not speaking the truth about me. Reason number six. <laughs> he can't handle the fact that he can't be trusted and supported. What? Last but not least, reason number seven. He's one of the most annoying users on YouTube. Brr, that is not- no. You can't handle the truth! End of rant. Now anyways, that's the end of the rant. And hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox, 110 the TPL fan, out. Oh my goodness, that is one of the worst- you know what, we are going to end it here, and to Mango if you're watching this video, if you dare make a commentary on me, here is my message to you. Stop right there you slanderer, this is Mikkel Mohino speaking to you. Are you about to slandering Mango HTF animations as a pedophile bruh? You need to know that he is not a pedophile anymore. And this proves you are acting like the Mojang Studios logo shows past actions. Let's skip this part and continue with this response. What can I say? It's a really this. That's never gonna happen. Okay, everybody. Next video.
Yes guys, it really happened today. Noily decided to do a commentary on my future respond on Screwball, also known as a fake account out of Russell from Happy Tree Friends. Oh, and before I start this video, I would like to say that I am so trained to be asked in this future response episode. Anyways, and it's rolled up to the video clip. Off we go, off we go. Oh, freak me. I know that screwball. Akaya. Boring! Russell could not be here because he went on vacation, but anyways, let's react to this horrible video ever. Hello everybody on YouTube, and welcome to the sixth episode of Mango Future Responses. Stop wasting our time Mango the fatty. Dude, I was literally introducing- <laughs> Today is the first day of June 2024, and for today's video, this is going to be on Whistler Hayes' salute on the Mojang Studios logo show. And in this video, I am portraying as this black guy in business outfit. Why are you being racist? That was not necessary. <laughs> Okay, and you cyberbullying him non stop. You're a coward in your life. So, without anything all said, let's all relax, pull up a chair, and roll the video clip. Off we go. The Mojang Studios will go show. Wow, this is rocks. No, he is not. Wanna know why? Because he cyberbullies me and my friends and treat his hated users like they are worse than Hitler. <laughs> Which, he should just leave his hated users alone, instead of cyberbullying his hated users 24 over 7. Bruh. Don't you know that he is not cyberbullying? Yes, he is. He is not you- yeah, he literally did. Yes, the hell he did, you big liar. No, he did not, you big liar. Brr, first off, imagine copying me by calling someone a big liar. Because I was the one who said big liar and you said that into the second place. So this means you are copying me and second of all, yes, the frick he is. Because for what he did that from the past is just so wrong. He wasn't even cyberbullying you at all. And oh yes he did! And plus, you shouldn't be talking, when yet, you literally cyberbullies yourself. <laughs> oh my freaking god, the stupid panther lover. You literally slandering me as cyberbullying someone. You know god darn well that I didn't cyberbullying someone at all. All I was doing is is to teach the Mohang Studios logo shows past actions a strict lesson to never making cyberbullying videos out of me and his hated users. So this means you are making up a false hypocritical thing that I didn't do. He's basically cyberbullying. This user is make a funny video sound of the users. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. Why are you being rude to a fair person. Are you just born a f Like, bruh, people can't be born for you twatty. Dude, I was only tell the truth. For real. Wow, this just- The Mojang Studios logo show box. Again, no he is not because he cyberbullies me and my friends. No, he does not. Yes, the hell it is, you molten lava sh- Denying the truth, Missy Mangos. Actually, I- <laughs> And takes his hated users way to the extreme. Uh, no you mango cuckle. Yes, he literally- <laughs> Which? He should just leave them alone instead of taking his hated users way to the extreme. Bull and you are a hypocritical annoyance in this world. Dude, I'm not a hypocrite. Yes, you are, you clown. 
No, I am not. No, the frig, I am not you stupid punk as clown. Yes, the hell you are. No, I am not you slanderer. Now go throw your phone out of the window just like I said to Foxy the Fox 110, you stupid dumb clown. Stop right there, you slanderer. This is Mikkel Mohino speaking to you. Are you about to slandering Mango HTF animations as a pedophile, bruh? You need to know that he is not a pedophile anymore. And this proves you are acting like the Mojang Studios logo shows past actions. Let's skip this part and continue with this response. And plus, imagine copying my insult name from December 2023. I don't care! Because you should know that you have no evidence why I am a hypocrite, because that is false information. Actually, I do have real proof of how you are a hypocrite. Liar! You claim to hate pedophiles, yet you- Stop right there, you slanderer. This is Mikkel Molino speaking to you. Are you about to slandering Mango HTF animations as a pedophile, bruh? You need to know that he is not a pedophile anymore. And this proves you are acting like the Mojang Studios logo shows past actions. Let's skip this part and continue with this response. And you claim that the cut ties with user term that Foxy used on somebody who supports you is quote unquote, opinion bashing. Well, that is what she exactly is. She literally disrespects the people's opinions on me in one of his responses. Because whenever I said to Foxy the Fox 110 that people can trust me whenever they want because I can actually trusting me. Then she said to me that they cannot trust me when because people are allowed to trust me because they have the rights to trust me whenever they want because it is their choices, not her. Oh, and not to mention, you and Foxy also did claim that cutting ties with the user term is opinion bashing, yet you guys did using the cut ties with the user's term in one of your rants. Because I didn't claim that the users do that thing yet I do the same thing. Wait a minute. Let's fix this. Because I didn't claim that the users do that thing yet I do the same thing. Check Studio Swagum show is living from, from Russia, so I'm living in Belarus. Thanks, the Mojang Studio Swagum show, too. Um, I don't have a... I don't know. So, the Mojang Studio Swagum show rocks. Again. No, he is not. Skipping this. You can't handle the. Who likes this user? Bandy waits the cartoon game to be series official and survival men boss this barn. And stop using the do you know who likes. Hates this thing term. That term is actually an off. Oh, come on! Topic term. Because he likes. Oh, he likes the Mojang Studios logo show. So, it. The Mojang Studios. So, the Mojang Studios. Okay, everybody. That is the end for the sixth episode of Mango Future. Please come back, Russell. You looked cute and I liked you. Well, that commentary only sucked because he spent. Alright, everybody. That is the end of the first video. Now. The second video is on Screwball's commentary on my future respond on his commentary on my future respond on Whistleray's salute on the Mojang Studios logo show. All right, on to the next video. That's how you want to be then. That is how you want to be, you pedophile piece of Oh, freak me. I know that Screwball. Akaya, Russell clone who made a stupid ass, commentary on my future respond on Whistle Hayes invalid salute on the Mohong Studios logo show. So, let's just begin, because I have no time for my introduction for today. Yeah, good, I don't care about it anyway. <laughs>
That's so disrespectful. No! Because I am laughing that he is talking like a demon or a devil in that commentary, and I find out that it will be funny in my opinion. Russell could not be here because he went on vacation, but anyways, let's react to this horrible video ever. Hello everybody on YouTube, and welcome to the sixth episode of Mango Future Responses. Stop wasting our time Mango the fatty. Dude, I was literally introducing myself in one of my future respond episodes. That's why I would introduce myself in the videos. Today is the first day of June 2024, and for today's video. This is going to be on Whistler Hayes' salute on the Mojang Studios logo show. And in this video, I am portraying as this black guy in business outfit. Why are you being racist? That was not necessary. Well, f you slutty. So, without anything all said, let's all relax, pull up a chair, and roll the video clip. Off we go. The Mojang Studios logo show. Wow, this is a ox. No, he is not. Wanna know why? Because he cyber bullies me and my friends, and treat his hated users like they are worse than Hitler. Which, he should just leave his hated users alone, instead of cyberbullying his hated users 24 over 7. Bruh, don't you know that he is not cyberbullying? Yes, he is. He's basically cyberbullies. Some of the users. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. Why are you being f rude to a fair person? Are you just born a f Like, bruh, people can't be born for f you twatty. Dude, I was only tell the truth about his invalid information about the Mohong Studios logo show. I do not say something rude. Or wow, this just <laughs> the Mojang Studios logo show box. Again, no, he is not, because he cyber bullies me and my friends. No, he does not. Yes, the hell it is, you molten lava shaped idiot. You can't handle the truth. There's Dude. Just because I said that that the Mojang Studios logo show cyber bullies me and his hated users doesn't mean that I can't handle truths. He was actually saying that you can't handle the truth, that the Mojang Studios logo show does not cyber bully you or your friends. Well, Screwball used the sentence, can't handle truths in the wrong context. And the Mohong Studios logo show did cyber bullying his hated users back in the past. And by the way, just because I am right about that does not mean that I can't handle truths. So this means that Screwball false accusing me as not handling truths and without a proof. And to overcome that you hate it when someone cyber bullies you, let me do the same thing. Liar! I was only speaking some valid information about your lies. It's way to the extreme. Uh, no you mango cuckle. Yes, he literally did. Because... Back in time when his main channel is here, he literally. Let's skip this part because it's a not a good part and you're invalid because you don't know what you're saying. You don't know. You can't handle the truth! And I Stop right there, you villain. This is me, Charlotte Furt, speaking to you. Are you about to sped up someone's important sentence when someone is actually right about someone or you? Brother, you need to know, that easily proves that you can't handle the truth, and that could make yourself a truth denier. Let's skip this part and continue with the response. And you are a hypocritical annoyance in this world. Dude, I'm not a hypocrite, because back in my- You can't handle the truth. Dude, just- <laughs> One, the Mojang Studios logo show is living from, from Russia, so I'm living in Belarus. Thanks, the Mojang Studios logo show. Two, um, I don't have an, uh, I don't know, so the Mojang Studios logo show rocks. Again, no he is not. Skipping this You can't handle the truth! Who likes this user? Bandy waits the cartoon game TV series official and survival men boss the spawn. And stop using the do you know who likes, hates this thing term, 
That term is actually an off. Oh come on! Topic term. Because he likes oh, he likes the Mojang Studios Vlogger Show. So it, the Mojang Studios. So the Mojang Studios. Okay, everybody, that is the end for the sixth episode of Mango Future. Please come back, Russell. You looked cute, and I liked you, silly sea otter face. Well, that commentary video of his sucked because he's basically gave out false information about me. But anyways, I do not have time for my out reduction for now on. I hated that video. That was one of the worst videos in the whole world. I can't believe you think you do it. You think it. All right, everybody. That is the end for this video. Thank you for watching. Until then, over and out. All right, everyone. This is the end of this response episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this response episode, then you know what to do. All right. I shall see you all next time in my next response episode. Starting tomorrow. Farewell. Final video. Oh. St stop right there. This is Dua Lipa speaking to you. Are you about to interrupting someone having their own intro and outro and used the copying someone's intros and copying someone's outros term in the wrong context? Like come on, you need to know that they have different sentence including having their own watermark or not. Even though Mango HTF animations have his own watermark with magenta letters and cream outline. And this proves you are judging a book by its cover. Let's skip this and continue with this response. No. What? That it's me, and welcome to Foxy Smith's Season 1, Episode 11. And this rant is going to be on Mango HTF Animations. <laughs> now anyways, before I get started, I just want to say, if you like this user and neutral to this user, then I... Let me put this into a pause right here. This is me, Thea Boeson here. And I know what are you trying to do. You are about to dis- Hold the f- Hey, stop right there you clip stealer. This is Jessica Alba speaking to you. And I know what are you doing in this video. You are about to use Mango HEF animations as interrupting or missed clips without asking his permission. Like seriously. You need to know that using someone's interrupting or missed clips without their permissions counts as stealing, and you are not the owner of those clips at all. Let's skip this part and continue with this response. Because you Hey. Stop right there you immature person. This is the woman in blue shirt speaking to you. Are you about to interrupt someone's interrupting clips while someone is actually right about you or someone else? Bruh. That proves that you can't handle the truth that someone is saying to you or someone else, and that proves that you are denying the truth. Let's skip this part and continue with this response. Now anyways, let's get started. Mango HTF animations? Oh my god, this user sucks. <coughs> and I'll give you the reasons why. Reason number one, his- Hey, stop right there you immature person. This is the woman in blue shirt speaking to you. Are you about to interrupt someone's interrupting clips while someone is actually right about you or someone else? Bruh, that proves that you can't handle the truth that someone is saying to you or someone else, and that proves that you are denying the truth. Let's skip this part and continue with this response. Reason number two. He's a big truth denier. Actually, you're the one who is a big truth denier. No, Mango. You are the one who is a big truth denier. No, you and Foxy are both truth deniers because you kept interrupting my interrupting clips because they are actually right about you or Foxy. Now stop with your lies nonsense. Because you keep on denying the fact that you're still a pedophile. That's because they are not allowed to call me a pedophile while I stopped doing pedophilia anymore because it counts as slandering me. Just because I stopped doing that does not mean that I am still a pedophile, you slanderer. Because you denies every single facts that I tells.
Stop right there you villain. This is me, Charlotte Furt speaking to you. Are you about to sped up someone's important sentence when someone is actually right about someone or you? Bruh, you need to know, that easily proves that you can't handle the truth, and that could make yourself a truth denier. Let's skip this part and continue with the response. Because he keeps denying the truth about himself. Well, that's because they are slandering and false accusing me. I, sh I said that they are speaking the truth about you. Actually, I am the one who speaks the truth about you, Foxy, and other liars, unlike you guys. Stop right there, you hypocrite. This is Jocelyn speaking to you. Are you about to think that someone or you are not slandering someone, when you or someone else did slandering someone? Like bruh, you need to know that you or someone else really did slandering someone, and that proves you are acting like Windows as QD7112 back in 2021. Let's skip this part and continue with his response. And can't handle the truth about my horrible thing that I stopped doing that. And that proof that they are acting like Rain the Fox and his alt accounts back in June to July 2024. Like for example, he denies the fact that he's still a pedophile. That's because that it is slandering and false accusing. Oh my god. Mango, you seriously have the most stupidest and annoying excuses ever. You are an idiot! <laughs> because, they should just know that I am not a pedophile anymore. <laughs> because, I made that post back in the 15th day of June 2024. This is why I apologize to my minor friends. Guess what you pedophile? Your so-called apology is denied forever, after what you did in your stupid so-called past. I don't care! And here are my fans, that they are accepting my apology, because I accidentally did that horrible thing. Stop right there you villain. This is me, Charlotte Furt speaking to you. Are you about to sped up someone's important sentence when someone is actually right about someone or you? Bruh, you need to know, that easily proves that you can't handle the truth, and that could make yourself a truth denier. Let's skip this part and continue with the response. Reason number three. He's a slender. And he- Because he- He slenders me as a pedophile just because I'm speaking the truth about him. Actually, it is true that you are a pedophile and save CP. If you don't believe me, here is the video that Liam is gonna said to you that you save CP. The main reasons why she's horrible is she said that CP or child porn can be forgiven when in reality it cannot since that's a serious crime that can put people in jail or prison for like a long time or something. Yes, yeah, serious crime. See, you literally did save CP, and what you did that is a serious crime. Like wow dude, just wow. You should know that slandering is a serious crime. And Reason number four, he's a hypocrite. Actually, you're the one who is a hypocrite. No, you're the one who is a hypocrite. Wrong, she is the real hypocrite because she claims that I am slandering her yet she slandered me as a pedophile. Now shut up you slanderer and I hope you go to jail and burn in hell for slandering me and supporting a pedophile. Because you claim to hate pedophiles, yet you're one yourself. You lie! You're a liar! Shut up! Because I give you some more examples. You claim that I can't handle truths, yet you can You can't handle the truth! Stop right there you villain. This is me, Charlotte Furt speaking to you. Are you about to sped up someone's important sentence when someone is actually right about someone or you? Bruh, you need to know, that easily proves that you can't handle the truth, and that could make yourself a truth denier. Let's skip this part and continue with the response. 
because he claims that he's them quote unquote slandering him when I'm not slandering him. Yet he's lend as me. Actually, you can't handle the truth. Wow, what a hypocrite. Reason number five. <laughs> he can't handle the truth about himself. Because whenever me or the pimple lover or mango or any of his haters. I mean, not mango. I mean, when me, I meant to say mango, I meant to say screwball. Sorry about that. Messed up on the names there. So, anyways, let me start on that. Whenever me and the pimp lover and screwball speak the truth about him, he denies it. Well,. Stop right there you villain. This is me, Charlotte Furt speaking to you. Are you about to sped up someone's important sentence when someone is actually right about someone or you? Bruh, you need to know, that easily proves that you can't handle the truth, and that could make yourself a truth denier. Let's skip this part and continue with the response. Reason number six. <laughs> He can't handle the fact that he can't be trusted and supported. Well, that's because I can actually be trusted. Besides, people can trust me whenever they want. Let me put this into a pause right here. This is me, Thea Boeson here. And I know what are you trying to do. You are about to disrespect the people's opinions on the users that they like. Like come on. You need to know for what you said that counts as opinion disrespecting, and they have the rights to forgive someone else whenever they want if they are not minor groomers, criminals, and serial killer YouTubers. And this proves you are acting like you're a local SUS master BTCP from July 2024. Let's just skip this part and move on with this response. Stop right there you slanderer. This is Mikkel Mourinho speaking to you. Are you about to slandering Mango HTF animations as a pedophile, bruh? You need to know that he is not a pedophile anymore. And this proves you are acting like the Mojang Studios logo shows past actions. Let's skip this part and continue with this response. Last but not least, reason number seven. He's one of the most annoying users on YouTube. In the rant. Now anyways, that's the end of the rant. And hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox. 110 the TPL fan. Out. Oh my Stop right there. This is Dua Lipa speaking to you. Are you about to interrupting someone having their own intro and outro and used the copying someone's intros and copying someone's outros term in the wrong context? Like come on, you need to know that they have different sentence including having their own watermark or not. Even though Mango HTF animations have his own watermark with magenta letters and cream outline. And this proves you are judging a book by its cover. Let's skip this and continue with this response. Man. This response of his sat big time, because he kept on denying the truth about himself. Says the guy who denies the truth about my hate base. So anyways, this is the end of this response episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this response episode then, you know what to do. Alright, I shall see you all next time in my next response episode, starting tomorrow. Farewell. Feel free to do an approval on this video. See you soon.